Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about Pascal's law. This Pascal's law was given by Blaise Pascal, and this Pascal's law states that a pressure applied to an enclosed fluid will be transmitted without loss to every point of the fluid and to the walls of the container. So the pressure will uh, what you call in a closed if the container is enclosed and if there is fluid inside it the pressure will transmit throughout the container without any loss without any loss the pressure will uh, transmit and see one thing we uh, already know that whenever we are blowing a balloon if you observe the balloon the balloon while blowing it will bulges and the pressure inside the balloon will be all around in all directions the balloon will have pressure and if you take a ball and if you fill the ball with some water and if you punch some holes around the ball we can observe the water coming out from the holes and if you place your finger there at every punch and at every hole you will feel that the pressure will be same so by that we can know that the pressure will be same all around the ball and in the balloon also the air also gives the pressure equally in all directions and uh, that phenomena will help this uh, statement to be stronger so the pressure where uh, we are applying at one uh, side will equally carried throughout the container to the other side see we in general day uh, life we may see that the hydraulic jacks the hydraulic jacks are used to lift lorries buses and cars see whenever there is a situation like a puncture of a tire what the mechanic will do he will bring a hydraulic jack and easily he will lift uh, he is able to lift the a lorry or a bus with that help of the hydraulic jack so uh, by putting a small effort we can make a, a big work big mechanic work so that is due to this pascal's law and uh, we can also see the hydraulic lifts also in lorries uh, they will carry sand or any aggregate in the lorries and the hydraulic lift will help to uh, unload or load the uh, what you call sand or aggregate so these all about uh, hydraulic systems so in all these places the pascal law is applicable so first let us see about the hydraulic press if you consider a hydraulic press it seems to be like this one end is a narrow end and another end is a broad end and here there will be a piston and here also there will be a piston piston p1 piston p2 and inside it it will contain fluid so if we apply some force on the piston one p1 that force will carry throughout the container and it will lift up the piston two with the force so here uh, in in the car wash garage we may observe that by uh, switching on a small switch uh, it is able to lift up a, a car which is having some 1000 kilograms the car may have a, some uh, averagely some 1000 kilograms of weight 
that car will be lifted in the uh, while doing the car wash so how is it possible this is possible by this hydraulic press this is hydraulic press it works on the principle of pascal's law so there what happens is uh, let us have a look here i am considering this as a square and this as a square and it is having a length length of some 1 cm and this is having a length of 10 cm this is a small piston and this is a big piston and i am assuming that uh, some 100 newton of force is applied on the piston one so what is the output of force acting on the piston two let us see that further here as i said it is a square length is 1 cm so uh, if the i am writing the length as length of p1 is equal to 1 cm if you convert into meter we will get 0 0.01 meter in the same way length of piston 2 p2 equal to 10 cm so for this we will get 0 0.1 meter now as i said these are squares now if you square uh, if you take the area of the piston 1 area of piston 1 is 0 0.01 into 0 0.01 so you will get 0 0.00 0 0.01 meter square 0 0.01 into 0 0.01 will get 0 0.0001 meter square and in the same way area of piston 2 p2 area is 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 0 0.01 meter square 0 0.01 meter square so and we know that pressure equal to force upon area so force is 100 newton here so 100 upon so let us take for piston 1 so that is 0 0.001 so 100 by 0 0.001 means we will get 10 lakh pascals so by applying the force of 100 newton the pressure inside this container will be 10 lakh pascal so as we can take that pressure equal to force by area and force equal to pressure into area so what is the pressure 10 lakh pascals 10 lakh pascals into area is area of piston 2 is 0. 0 0.01 meter square so you will get the so by multiplying we will get the force as 10,000 newton so if you apply a force of 100 newton at piston 1 the force is a, this force will be downward direction and the force which is acting on the piston 2 will be in upward direction as we are applying 100 newton on piston 1 the force acting on the piston 2 is 10,000 newton in upward direction so if you consider the mass of the car is 1000 kg so the 1000 kg means uh, almost some 10,000 newton will act as a weight of the car downward direction so to lift the car definitely the force should be more than 10,000 newton so if the force is more than the 10,000 newton definitely the car will be lifted up as the downward force is 10,000 newton if the upward force is more than 10,000 newton then only the car will be lifted up so if we apply such force more than 10,000 newton the car will be lifted up so this can be done by the by using this hydraulic
press this hydraulic press here we will use very a little amount of force and that little amount of force will be converted as large amount of force here to lift very heavy bodies and objects